Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup haul. I have a collective makeup haul and stuff that were sent to me. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of had a brain fart. I have some drugstore goodies, some Marshalls goodies, some online goodies. So let's get right into the haul. I'm going to start off with the things I found at Marshalls. And you guys know I love going to Marshalls. The first thing that I was very, very excited to see was this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And I've always wanted to try this foundation. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, I hope they have a color that matches me. And this was only $9.99 at Marshalls. So I was like, yes, ma'am, I will try it out. I got the shade. Um, let me look on the bottle because right here it has a bunch of different colors. So it's CN8. It says linen. Um, it's a pinch light, but I feel like once it goes on my skin, it blends nicely and it looks like it matches my skin. Just in the bottle, it definitely looks a little light. The next um, thing I found was actually on clearance for $4.50 and it's by Real Techniques. It's this really cute brush. It's a kabuki brush and this is from their Brush Crush collection. I was so excited for this one. I actually saw, ooh, I forgot what influencer I saw that I really, really like um, talk about this brush. And she said that this applies foundation so, so beautifully. I don't know. This one just caught my attention because it's definitely a lot different than other kabuki brushes. It does have a little flat part up here so you can like set it down and it won't fall. And then because... on that same trip, I found a Velvetine liquid lipstick from Lime Crime. And I actually really like Lime Crime liquid dipsticks. I just never shop on their website anymore because of the whole thing that happened a couple years ago. I rather only shop them through Ulta or in this case, if I can find them like at Marshalls. I've found their liquid eyeshadows at Nordstrom Rack ones. So yeah, this is a color True Love and it was only $5.99, which is such a steal. And this is what the color looks like. It looks like a really pretty, like, hot neon pink. Mm, kind of like a hot watermelon pink. Perfect for spring and summer. I'm excited for this color. And then the other thing I found, which was also $5.99, is from Too Faced. Too Faced. <laughs> Too Faced. And this is a Juicy Fruit Collection. It's the Watermelon Candy Finish Lip Gloss, which is such a gorgeous color. It looks like a really pretty, like, corally orange shade. And this is the color Bump and Rind. And I love the packaging. I definitely want to go back and pick up their, um, like, the palettes from the same, like, Watermelon Pineapple Collection because... They looked gorgeous. I really want the pineapple one and the berry one. It smelled so, so good. And then I've seen people find like the duos, the highlighter, I think, and blush of like this fruit collection. And I really want to go look for those as well because ugh, I think they're so cute. And then another thing I found also from Too Faced is from the Tutti Fruity collection. And this is a liquid glitter eyeshadow. And this one I didn't have. It's the color Strawberry Champagne. And I actually really like the formulation of their liquid eyeshadows. This one is gorgeous. It's right up my alley. I love these like rose gold shimmery shades. You guys know I literally, I get them all the time from all the brands. It's the color that I gravitate towards. Like if I want to try a brand for the first time like their liquid eyeshadows I will gravitate towards like a rose gold shade I don't know why I just really like it this one is gorgeous I really like their formula and this next uh thing I picked up was at an uh, from another trip uh this is the elf snowflake four piece eye brush set and I'm so excited for this one I remember seeing these at Target and I just for never picked them up they retailed there for ten dollars um, but I got it for $4.99. And it has a fluffy brush, a like small angled brush, an eyebrow brush, and an eyeshadow C brush. I'm super excited for the fluffy brush because it's the type of brushes I like to use to blend. And those two angled brushes, I'm excited for my brows because I have a couple new brow products that I want to try out. And I want to, I like to use like a new brush. <sighs> now let's get into 
my Target haul. There was two different trips and let me start off with this one. So the first trip I picked up another Milani Ludicrous lip gloss because I personally love these and this is a color 110 luster light i told you guys these have become my favorite drugstore lip glosses they're so so nice they remind me a lot of the formula of the fenty beauty glosses but these are definitely definitely much more affordable and then i picked up a new real techniques uh sponge And this one is for powder makeup. It's like a velvet sponge. So I would still want to try it for liquid products because I'm just intrigued to see how it works with liquids. If it works as good as my Juno and Co sponges, which you know I'm obsessed with. And then I don't know if I already showed you guys this one, but I kind of think like I didn't. It's another Real Technique sponge and this is a Miracle Face and Body sponge. And guys, this thing is massive, like massive. It's a huge, huge sponge. I'm very intrigued in trying it. This is It Dry and it's ginormous. I'm excited, super excited to try it. And I didn't realize that I still had this one brand new when I bought this one. But in my defense, they are a little different that one's ginormous and this one is you know regular size but it's velvet and then on that trip i also picked up an a uh, set of ardell wispy lashes these are my absolute favorites from ardell i just love how easy these are just to pop on and go i barely have to trim these and they're just comfortable they're very lightweight and these are some of my favorites because they're so so easy to wear and i'll pair them with any looks even dramatic looks just because you know sometimes i don't want a dramatic lash i just want something to let the eyeshadow shine and these are perfect because they add a little mm to my lashes because i have like three three barely their lashes so that's what i like about these another thing i picked up is from wet and wild that i picked up on that other same trip and it's a new pomade it's the ultimate brow pomade i got mine in the shade espresso and it's very similar to one of the benefits little brow pomade things i'm going to try them side by side and see if they're good enough dupes for each other because this was definitely super affordable Alrighty, let's move on to the bigger Target haul. And this was actually my shopping haul from the other day. I think I showed you guys on Instagram. I um, went in to do a Fashion Friday at Target and I decided to walk the whole store. I was there for two hours and a half. Like I was living my best life at Target and I bought a book. I went to like everything. I went through the whole section, through the whole store and section by section. And I was just again living my best life so i went in to look for specific things and i guess i should start off with that i went in to look for the elf uh poreless putty primer but this is the matte putty primer and this is a universal sheer primer i'm excited for this you guys know i love i have been loving the poreless putty i have been using it this is the only primer i've been using um, since I finished up my full size Tatcha, which I feel like I always tell you guys, but I feel like it must be noted. So yeah, I found it. They also had the luminous one, but that one's just not for me. This one I'm excited and to use. And then I was also going to look for the, um, hydrating camo concealer, which I found it. This one I actually found the following day that I, I went again to Target because the day I went, they only had this set up for the next product i'm going to show you guys and the putty primer they had those little eyeshadows i forgot to buy those they did catch my attention but i totally like i was so excited that i found the liquid eyeshadows that i l forgot to get the little eyeshadow i think they're like trios or little quads um but this is a hydrating con camo concealer and it's a full coverage satin this is in the shade light beige and i'm so excited i got it because i've really been wanting to try it and i will be doing like a full face trying new drugstore makeup the only thing i don't have is a foundation like um let me know what a a new good like full coverage foundation from the drugstore is because i don't know of any that have come out lately and the like luminous dewy ones just don't work out for me because i do have oily skin so moving on to the next elf 
products that I found and I was so excited. The liquid eyeshadows. They have liquid glitter eyeshadows. The first one I got because, I mean, of course, look, how could I not get this color? It's Ocean Eyes. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. I'm already like picturing a whole look in my head. Then we have um, Disco Queen. And I swatched this one already and it's more like a sheer with a lot of glitter. Super, super pretty. And then this one is Flirty Birdie, which is stunning. Again, it's those rose gold shades that I go for from new brands. I do want to pick up some of the gold shades because I was so excited. I just got these. I wanted to try them out first and then go from there. Uh, I usually probably would have gotten just one, but I was so excited for the colors that I picked up three. And they're only five bucks, so super affordable. And then I found from the Born to Glow collection from NYX, they have a concealer, which I'm excited for. And I told you guys like radiant, hydrating concealers work for me, um, as well as the matte concealer. So I, I feel very fortunate to have both formulas work very good under my eyes. This is a radiant concealer, so I'm excited to try it. The only thing I saw, it has this little like sponge tip applicator. Um, I don't know how much I'll like this, but I'll have to try it and see. And then from Wet n Wild, I picked up the new Hello Halo blush lighter. I love the name. So it's like a blush and a highlighter. They have a couple other colors that I feel will go really good for deeper skin tones. This is the one that I felt went good with me, which is called After Sex Glow. Okay, wet and wild with the names, <laughs> but I'm really excited. I just really like the blush lighter name. And then from Physicians Formula, I picked up the Natural Defense Finishing Powder. I've heard a lot of good things about these and I've been recently like watching favorites and like new trying new drugstore makeup and a lot of people have been liking this specific product uh, I think I also watched like a dupe video and someone compared this to a Charlotte Tilbury powder so I was like you know what let me try this if it's as good as that uh, or comparable to that then I might like it so I'm excited to try this it says it blurs protects and perfects so I'll be trying that out soon. And then another thing from uh, Physicians Formula, this butter collection times Whaley Huang. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. But this really caught my attention. I really like uh, Physicians Formula, like butter, bronzers, and blushes. They're so good and their highlighters are amazing. This palette has two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. And these four products right here are limited edition to this palette. These bronzers are from their collection already, but I feel like I can never have enough bronzers. Like lately, I needed to move on from my Cover FX bronzer because I'm like, almost completely out of it and I was like okay I need to look for something new to like and to start using other than that so I'm excited for this I honestly I think she's an influencer I don't really know who she is and that's like not to be shady I just was really attracted by this palette <laughs> so I picked it up and then lastly, I found a new Maybelline palette that I was impressed with. Honestly, the color story, you guys know, it looks very like warm, neutral, wearable. But I've been trying to find, you know, palettes from drugstore brands like L'Oreal, Revlon, you know, Maybelline that I like that catch my attention. And finally, there's one. This is a Nudes of New York palette from Maybelline. And I'm excited to try it because I know not everyone likes to shop online or order palettes online. And this is easier to go in to CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, and pick something up like this if you're in a pinch or you need something more affordable. So I'm going to try this out in a video coming up and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Moving on to products that were sent to me very quickly from Influencer. I am signed up with Influencer um, and they sent me this new product from i don't know how to pronounce it but i think it's la roche pose i hope that's how you pronounce it if not i'm so sorry and this is a serum it has hyaluronic acid so i'm excited to try it says it's pure hyaluronic acid i'm excited to try it and they do have um three new ones they have a retinol b3 one pure retinol and vitamin b3 
and then they have this vitamin C. It has 10% pure vitamin C and salicylic acid. Um, and I got the blue one up here, which I'm excited to try. So I'll let you guys know in a future video or favorites video how that works out for me. And now we have from Real Her, they sent me a package and you guys know um, I am on their PR list and I do have a discount code with them. It's always in the description down below if you guys would like to save some money. I would say you guys don't feel pressure to use my codes, but if you would like to save money, they're down there. So they came out with a new uh, eyebrow pencil and it's the definer brow pencil. This is a box. And this is a I am strong. I'm actually very excited for this. It's very sleek and I like that about it. So on one side you have the little twist up pencil and on the other side it has a little spoolie and I like that it's covered so you can keep it nice and clean if you store it like this. Um, I'm excited because you guys know I have like little brows now and I feel like I'm such a badass now that I have brows again. Barely. I have like three little hairs. But um, I use a pencil to outline that those new brows that I have and then fill in my brows with a like a pomade. So I'm very excited to try this out. And then they also sent a waterproof liquid eyeliner and I am outstanding. A I am amazing 24 hour eyeliner and this I am beautiful full volume mascara I love the names of all of their products I've told you guys they are always very empowering and they're very woman empowerment uh, focus and I really really like that about this brand look at how chubby she is so I'm excited for this mascara I'm always looking for a good mascara okay I like this wand this applicator I like it so I'm excited to try this out and then they also sent me an eyeshadow palette and I told you guys before that I really really liked how their eyeshadows perform this is a conquer from within palette it looks like this and here is the palette it's actually really nice sleek uh, packaging which I also love look at these colors this is a very pretty like purpley palette let me do some swatches because this one is ca oh calling my name wow these are pretty look at these colors they're really really pretty so I'm excited to try these out I love that they included these two brown shades in this palette because you can do an everyday makeup look with a brown in your crease and you can add a pop of pink, a pop of purple, a shimmery purple and still make the look wearable with these two brown shades. And I also love that they include this cream like bone shade. You guys know I look for that shade in all of the palettes. So I'm excited to play with these. They're super, super cute. Thank you to Real Her. And the last package is from Pixie Beauty, which they celebrated their 20 years of glow. When I saw this packaging, I was having a cow. Look at how gorgeous these products look in this packaging. Congratulations to them for 20 years of glow. That's crazy. So they sent over a uh, rose cr ceramide cream, which is an intensive moisturizer, glow tonic. You guys know I love this toner. I actually finished one of these, so it's good to have a little, little one because they also sent a big one. If you guys don't remember in my last haul, I showed it. They sent this glow mist, which I'm excited to try. I've never tried their mists. Their palettes, I have tried them, and their shimmers are amazing um so this is a very very pretty palette then we have an endless silky eye pen it's a waterproof eye pencil so i'm excited to try that never tried their um eye pencils and then of course i love these already um their matte last liquid lipsticks and this is in the color berry beauty which is one of my favorites i'm excited for that and then they have a lip lift max glossy lip plumper and I already tried this because I just couldn't help myself as soon as the package came in I opened it and I applied it and it's such a nice lip plumper it doesn't burn it doesn't like hurt your lips or anything it just gives you such a nice little plump to your lips and I love it and the color is gorgeous it's not clear but it also doesn't have any color kind of like a like a very very light baby pink with some shimmer 
so I really really like this so yeah that's basically it for this haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I will be having trying new makeup products videos especially the drugstore I'm just looking for a drugstore foundation because I have concealers I have powders that I can use for those videos and eyeshadows and all that stuff I'm just looking for a foundation so it can be like a full you know face of trying new drugstore makeup again thank you so much for watching and like always I will see you all in my next video bye